All right, hi guys. This is Magical Lady Duchess, and I promised you guys that I was gonna do more hoodoo based videos this year, and so I'm gonna keep my word. And today, well, tonight, I'm going to be talking about red brick dust and why it is so important to us conjurers, and you will see why it will become important to you too. So, what makes red brick dust so powerful? And the name red brick dust, of course, is from a red brick. And so it brings in prosperity and it also fortifies your home. Um, the name is given it away, of course, and the red brick is made from red bricks. There's an old legend that said that it might have started in New Orleans as far as making it popular, but this goes way back to the Egyptian times when they actually used that I know I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, so I'm just gonna spell it. O-C-H-R-E, like the red clay in ancient rituals. So I'm going to assume that somebody brought it to New Orleans and that's how I know about it. They also call it reddening, which is R-E-D-D-I-N-G. Same thing. So why is red brick dust so powerful? Uh, why is it so important? Because, and what makes it so effective in keeping in, intruders out of the physical and the spiritual home of you? And here is why. Uh, bricks are made of materials from the earth, like clay and sand or lime. So the earth element is an element of your home's protection. So iron is a component of red bricks, a strong metal. So the color red, like the red brick, has long been associated with the world of dead and also the ancestors since ancient time. Probably because of its color link to our blood and our ancestors are our strongest protectors. And the last thing that makes it so powerful, or not the last, but a reason why, is because bricks have been used for thousands of years to build homes. So therefore, the purpose of a brick itself is to protect from outside elements. Like fired bricks are known to last the longest and be the strongest and strongest type of building block, so to speak. So while bricks has its own physical protective qualities, those physical qualities pour over into the spiritual realm and they become spiritual protection as well. Okay, so that's why it's so important. And you can literally get a red brick and do it yourself, or you can purchase red brick dust that they've already, you know, got a brick. Now, I'm not saying take a brick off a building or a house, but you can be able to get a red brick. I mean, all you literally need is a red brick, a hammer, a hard surface a funnel for a roll of paper, a small amount of rum or whiskey, uh, a mortal and or impester, a jar or a vessel, um, and you might need uh, uh, gloves. And, you know, literally you are just breaking and busting it. So, you know, be careful. I'm not telling you to steal no bricks. I'm not telling you to steal no hammers and nothing else. Because you don't need to be stealing anything when you're getting this because it's used for protection. And so when you are literally getting the, the brick that you're going to use, make sure that you pray over it. Make sure that you pray over it, that you're using this brick for protection. Um, and label it. Let it sit for a minute before you use it. Okay, very simple. You can get you a broken brick or it doesn't really matter, but a red brick. And think about the components of what I said, why it's so important. So how to use a uh, red brick dust. So depending on the tradition and the individual, um, there's different ways that you can use it. Here is just a small few for me. You can kind of like cleanse the door in the threshold, then sprinkle a little bit over the threshold to keep people that you don't want outside of your fucking house or apartment or in your office or in your cubicle. You could take a little bit. You probably have to do it all the time if y'all get people that clean up and shit because they probably gonna vacuum that shit up and tear up their uh, fucking vacuum cleaner. <laughs> 
Um, you can also mix it with some protective herbs and powders and sprinkle it. You know what I'm saying? You can also create a ready mix uh, with a little bit of your urine and ammonia or some vinegar. And you can wash down the doors uh, and thresholds. This is a great thing you can do for your home. Now, I'm not saying have more piss than everything else. I'm just saying that's why they call it reddening because you're adding ammonia type of liquid to it just a little bit and mixing it up and because you don't want to do it too much and then people walk up to your front door and it smell like piss so then they're going to assume that your house smell like piss and let me be clear i have been into people's houses that wasn't so clean <laughs> you don't want this look so just a little bit a little bit goes a long way you can also mix it with some cinnamon or some brown sugar, and that can bring some extra cash to your home too, as well as protecting it. So where can you find old red bricks? Maybe you're thinking, yeah, this sounds good, but where the fuck do I find some shit like that? So you can probably find them. Um, you can like dig up where old red brick is uh, where it's been buried for many years. I just say don't steal it. Don't just take it. Make sure that you're always giving something back. You never want to take anything without giving something back. You can do like dump sites, eBay. You know, you can go to like demolition sites and dumps and shit like that. If you rather pay... Uh, for a while, for, you can go on eBay, you can go on Etsy, hell, you can get it from me, because I get it. Um, what can you do, uh, what to do with the dust remnants? Like, the way that I use red brick dust is to protect property. Like, but if you find yourself having an overabundance, store it, because you are going to fucking use it for something. So, um, you can also, in addition... Uh, for protective works, you can also use it um, to conjure a person. You can conjure a person, fill it with a bottle of red brick dust, a piece of devil shoestring, like nine navy beans and nine rusty nails, and top off with white lightning, which is moonshine, if y'all did not know what that is, and shake it really well. And while uttering a few choice words, then throw it in the sewer. Uh, the conjure is to make a person sick. I'm not telling you to do any of this. This is for educational purposes only. I am just telling you what you can do with red brick dust. Okay. Um, you can also to swell a man. And what I mean by to swell a man, this is old conjure talk. Okay. So to swell a man and keep him from bragging. You can take some red brick dust and dress it with nine black candles on which you have the target's name that has been itched in with a rusty nail and write the same name on a piece of paper with some dragon's blood ink and place it face down on the brick. Tie the paper securely to the brick with some twine, light one candle per day for nine motherfucking days. And after the last candle has burned, throw the brick along with the counter remains in a canal or a sewer. Just like the brick soaks up the water, so the man will swell. <laughs> Kinka! Shit. To nullify evil. To nullify evil work, you can sprinkle some red brick dust on top of a crossed object if you feel like something an amulet or something like that that has been hexed or something, you can do it like that. Um, also, you can make a red brick floor, floor wash as well. You can uh, wash your doors and windows to keep out your enemies. Mix it with a little bit of Florida water um, or some Kananga water. Um, you can also do a red brick dust candle fix. You just add a little pinch of the red brick dust for the candle for protection those are really good um you can do red brick for safe travel you can keep a chunk of red brick in the trunk of your car for protection as well as safe travel 
Um, you can use it in your window and doorways to keep enemies out of your home. Um, they also have a thing called Shake the Devil Off Powder. And that's powder that pre pre prevents you from being cross. So you just crush up some red brick dust and some dragon's blood and sprinkle it around the home. This can also be added to floor washes to wash um, your floors and petition papers and stuff as well. I'm trying not to make these videos long because y'all have the attention span of a three-year-old sometimes. So that's all for Red Brick Dust. If you have any questions, concerns, or whatever, please feel free to comment because you motherfuckers will. Anyway, whether I want you to or not, and I will try to answer them. Um, also, please go to my website to book your readings and consultations, and I am currently doing work again. So this is your video on the red brick dust that I've been promising y'all for the last two or three weeks. So it is done. I hope you enjoy it. Many blessings.